Hello everyone, this is The Commander, and today I'm going to review The Bad Batch Episode 3. This one's called Replacements. And yeah, I'm just going to get right into talking about everything that happened in this episode. And then I will kind of give you my thoughts about this episode towards the end. So we start out with the Bad Batch shuttle sent out of hyperspace and it crash lands into a moon. It lost its hyperspace. Um, functions. So then it, we go to Camino where we have Crosshair in a scan room and this new Imperial officer. I don't think it's Damon. It's mentioned he's worth talking. He revered this new elite squad of troopers. They serve the clone trooper armor, but this black now with the green visors looks quite similar to Death Troopers. And it, I don't know if these guys are Storm Troopers or Death Troopers, they seem like this is like the formation of Death Troopers, which is pretty cool to see that. I love just seeing the change from the, Repu the Republic to the Empire in this show. We've only had three episodes so far and they have already done a great job of it. So then we go back to the moon where these creatures feed on the last capacitor of the shuttle. So now they really can't get that shuttle up and running again. These are dragon-like space creatures, just the usual alien creatures you would see in Star Wars. And then a lot of switching back between Crosshair and the Bad Batch, Camino and this lost moon and the in this moon. So yeah, lots of switching. And this one we go back to Camino where there is a debate between the Imperial officer and the Kaminoans, the clones for new recruits, that whole um, procedure, the system, if they should have clones or just recruited soldiers, that's going to be a big thing. Could we see the Kaminoan rebellion? Possibly. I don't know if we'll see clone, a clone uprising or anything. It'll be very cool to see. And I could see them fitting that in with this season being 16 episodes. So we will have to see if that happens. But then the elite squad of these death troopers and clone trooper armor, I know it's a little weird, they don't have a real name. And so all, all of the other troopers in the elite squad, they were not clones, they were just recruits. There's about six of them. And so then they are sent to kill Gerard's camp. We, they want... T Tolkien wants to see if they can do it where the Bad Batch failed. And then we go back to the moon where the Bad Batch faces the creatures and the moon. They fight them. Um, and then we also see the Imperial squad killing Jorah's soldiers in Crosshair. So there's a disagreement between one of the troopers and Crosshair. Cro Crosshair with its Order 66 chip. He thinks they should kill all the civilians that are part of Guerrero's camp as well. But the other one doesn't agree. He thinks they should let these people be. But then Crosshair killed one of the th that stormtrooper that is not agreeing with him. So Crosshair really becoming the villain here. Could he turn back? Certainly, but he's going to need a chip taken out. So yeah, Crosshair is really a stone-cold villain now. And he seems like a pretty cool villain for this show. Doesn't seem too conflicted because he had that chip doing all the stuff on him. But we'll see if he gets more conflicted later in the season. So then we have... So then those... That Imperial squad cannot find Chargerera and they head back. And then back to the moon. Reco shows a new room to Omega. So Omega is now like an actual member of the Bad Batch, a uh, part of the Bad Batch. And yeah, this is kind of similar to ha what we saw with the Mandalorian and Grogu. But it's a little more different because she's actually like a full member. We've seen her fire some gunshots. So yeah, it will be interesting to see all her abilities develop. 
Will she get armor at some point? Who knows? I don't know how fast this will skip forward. If it does skip forward 10 years, we could see Omega full on fighting with the Bad Batch. So that could be pretty cool in the future. We'll see how long she survives though. And so yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. Also, um, Rucker was kind of holding his head in this episode, so maybe the effects on the chip in his brain is doing something, so that could be a developing theme. All of the Bad Batch members kind of having that reaction. Who knows if Rucker will stay with the Bad Batch, but he probably will. I think Crosshair is really going to be the only one that it's on the Imperial side the most, he could even turn back, so it'll be very interesting to see, but overall this episode was pretty good, it didn't go too much of anywhere, but I think it's pretty good, developed Crosshair as a villain, the whole Recruits vs. Clones thing, it's really developing now, and yeah, I just want more like big battles, action, and cameos from other characters like I think Fennec Chan, Captain Rex, they're supposed to be in here. But I'm not too concerned about the pace because we have about 13 episodes to go in this one. So it's a nice big season. And yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. It's a pretty good one. Make sure to subscribe and like. This is The Commander, signing out.